It looks phenomenal. Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Alexander Wolf and today's video is going to be about how we made this very cool product video for our friends at Travel Vanilla. Basically, we're going to take a look at the full process and the steps we followed in order to deliver a video to fulfill the client's expectations and needs to accomplish their goals. In this case, to introduce their products to the direct-to-consumer mass market. Here in your media, we are focused on helping you tastefully market your food and beverage brands. So if you're the owner of a brand looking to get more exposure for your products, stay to the very end and maybe we can do the same amazing job for you. Or even if you're a new independent creative who's just starting, we hope this video helps you try your hand at product videos because with a little patience and determination, you can make some pretty cool videos. So let's get started. The client for this product video, Tribal Vanilla. They're a vanilla brand concerned about sustainability, the unity between communities, and ethically sourced farming. They offer a range of top quality products which include whole vanilla beans, vanilla paste, vanilla powder. So go check them out on their website. We came into contact with Travel Vanilla via a referral of another product video we did for another brand that they absolutely loved. So after their first reach out, we had our meeting with them where they explained to us the main objectives they wanted to accomplish from the video. Number one, they wanted to display their three main products the vanilla beans, the vanilla paste, and the vanilla powder. And as a bonus, they wanted to showcase how one uses a whole vanilla bean stock in your recipes. You have to cut it in half and scrape the middle out. Number two, the video had to be very clear about the organic and ethically sourced nature of their products. And finally, number three, they wanted a call to action that would lead viewers to their website. So this would translate into sales. With these three points in mind, it was time to develop the main idea for the video. After several meetings and brainstorms with the internal team, important here, guided by the necessities and objectives of our client, this is what we came up with. We knew we had three different scenes, one for each individual product, and a closing one where we would display the three products alongside the call to action. We wanted to integrate their tagline, gourmet ethically sourced vanilla, alongside with the natural elements in the background to convey the organic and sustainable values of their brand. All of these elements and scenes have to be linked by some pretty cool and dynamic transitions to keep the audience interested and excited, which we found with the elements and the movements of the product themselves. And that is how we land on this storyboard, which would be our guideline for the structure of the video when we're ready to shoot. But of course, very important, we need the client's approval. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like don't have a lot of notes for you because you did such a good job. So I'm so excited to see the final product. Perfect. So if you approve with what this, we can get to work. All right, so we have all our equipment out, lights, tripods, C-stands, our products ready to go. And we have our storyboard that we want to recreate, our shot list that we want to do. Let's go. So the three point light set up, I just gotta tweak it per product. I think I'm gonna be doing the bottle first because I think it's gonna be easiest. Just do a little green Play-Doh and then just do the 360. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put up another light with another C-stand above just to light up the green screen properly so there's no shadows. And then when we edit, we can cut out all the green. We are on to our second product here, which is the powder. All right, so we rigged up some sort of tripod with a string so we can have this hanging here. Took a little bit of a plane width, but I think it's gonna work if I'm very, very careful. Right now, what we're gonna do is actually open these up and pull out the vanilla beans and prop them up on some sort of like little stick in a in play doh so we can do a couple 360s of them floating around. And our idea is we want to slice one of these vanilla beans right down the middle in the edge side. It's supposed to split open in front of the screen and the bottle of the next product is going to come between it. Now that's what we have to do now.
after several hard days of shooting and editing, we arrived to our final result. Wow, it looks sweet. Good job. It looks phenomenal. You should be proud of it. It looks awesome. Yes, yes, I'm really happy. So there you have it, folks. One satisfied client after hours and hours of hard work. For us, a product video is more than just an ad or a commercial. It's a challenge. How do we tell the brand story through its products in a very short video? It's not just a bunch of cool shots and a powerful song. You have to be loyal to the brand's identity and values. If you want to make a product video by yourself, keep these key points in mind. Focus on the problem and the solution. Keep it short and sweet. Focus on one key feature of the product. Find an interesting angle and always include a clear call to action. These are the parameters that we follow once we start a project like this. So if you're a brand that needs an amazing product like the one you just watched, send us a DM. It starts as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave us a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and we will see you next time. Adios.